What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This is Chu here from Choose to Explore, where I teach you to see the world and save a dollar. So last year in 2021, I was able to travel to eight countries. And the question that I get asked the most is how I was able to do that. So today I'll be letting you guys know exactly how I was able to do that and how you can do that in 2022. Stay tuned, you don't wanna miss this one. If you're new to my channel, please check out the description where I have all of the vlogs of all the countries that I went to last year for you guys to get inspiration and to see exactly what I did and how you can do it as well. Tip number one for you guys, and probably the most important tip, is to prioritize travel. Now, what does that mean? This is really creating a travel budget for the year. Now, me personally, I get paid bi-weekly. And every time that I get paid, I set aside money from my direct deposit to another account, which is just for travel-related expenses. You have to have the mindset that you want to travel. And by doing this, that really helps me because it helps me visualize exactly how much money that I have to spend on travel or how much that I would need to set aside for each trip that I want to take. And this is really good if you want to be a budget traveler or if you want to travel to luxurious places. Just setting a budget will let you know how much money that you are willing to spend. And it's really important that you do not go into debt to travel. Tip number two. Now this is probably the most important to me and that's being flexible with where you want to go. Now, being flexible will save you a lot of money when you travel. And I really let that flight price dictate where I will go. And that's how I was really able to go to a lot of different countries because usually your flight prices and your hotel accommodations are your most expensive expenses. But if I cut one of those significantly by getting a cheap flight, then I'm able to do a lot more or go on more trips. Which leads perfectly to tip number three, which is finding cheap flights. Now I've pride myself in finding cheap flights, but you can do it as well. It really starts with being notified with when these airlines are having sales. So you can do these directly with the airlines or you can find it with apps that do that work for you. Now my favorite apps are Skyscanner, Google Flights, Momondo, and Secret Flight. Check out those apps or those websites and go where the flight deal lands you. Tip number four is using your PTO days wisely and efficiently to maximize travel. Now, I'm a full-time working professional that just travels for my leisure time. With my job, I do not work weekends, so I have Saturday and Sunday off. Now, if I take the Friday off, then I have a three-day weekend for me to travel. Or I can take the Friday and the Monday off and have a four-day break just using two days of PTO. And using these weekends is a really good way to get longer breaks just by using less PTO. Also, you can do the same trick with holidays. So there are some holidays that fall on Mondays, some holidays that fall on Fridays or Thursdays, and you can use that to really extend your vacation and make them a lot longer than what they typically are. Tip number five, and this is a game changer, and this is using travel credit cards to travel. Some people call this points hacking, but be sure to use your credit card responsibly or don't get a credit card at all. Now I'm gonna talk about my travel credit card that has a ton of perks that I use when I travel. Now my credit card has no foreign transaction fees. My credit card also has travel insurance built in. So as long as I purchase my flight, my hotel, and my trip with the card, I am insured. Also, my card is equipped with Priority Pass, which gives me lounge access, which is free food and drinks for me and two other people when I travel. Now, if you travel a lot, this Priority Pass is a game changer because you're eating as much as you want, drinking as much as you want, and you're not paying for it. And if you've traveled, you know just how much that airport food and drinks really are. Plus, a lot of the times they have showers, places where you could relax and be away from the general population, which is great, especially traveling during the COVID-19 pandemic that we're dealing with right now. I have a ton of points that I can redeem for future hotel stays. And my card is equipped with rental car insurance. And that leads to tip number six, and that's saving on transportation. So in a lot of countries, transportation costs are very, very expensive. In some countries, they have Uber and Lyfts, which can cut your transportation costs. But in a lot of places, taxis are the preferred method of transportation. I like to get a rental car because it gives me a ton of freedom and flexibility and it saves my transportation costs significantly. In a couple of weeks, I'll be in Honduras and I was able to get a rental car for around $9 a day. 
And because of my travel credit card that I just talked about, I have the car insurance already built in so I don't have to pay extra for the insurance. So for $9 a day, in most countries, that's not even the airport transfer from the airport to your hotel. Tip number seven is saving on baggage and luggage fees. Now that travel credit card that I mentioned earlier also gives me $250 in baggage and flight incidentals. So if I do ever wanna bring a bag, I have $250 in travel credit per year for that, but I don't travel with a carry-on or suitcase at all. For me personally, I travel with a book bag. Now with every airline that I've ever flown, this book bag counts as a personal item, as long as it's able to fit under the chair in front of me. And this is with Spirit Airlines, Delta Airlines, Frontier, any airline that I've flown with last year. Not once has somebody asked me to check my bag or that I do need to pay for carry-on luggage. Plus, having a book bag, it's so portable and easy for me to get around. If you do plan traveling more in 2022, I highly suggest investing in a good carry-on luggage or a book bag for you to easily get around. Tip number eight, traveling during the COVID-19 pandemic is difficult. There are various restrictions at hand every single day that is changing. One thing that has been constant is these COVID-19 tests. Now, in order to get back into the United States, you need to take a COVID test within one day of your flight. Also, when you're traveling in foreign countries, they can charge you whatever they wanna charge you. I remember I was in Cape Verde and they charged me around $100 for a COVID test. I mean, ultimately, what am I gonna do? It's either I take the COVID test for $100 and I go home, or I don't take the COVID test for $100 and I'm stranded in Cape Verde. So a way that I found to combat both of those issues is by buying these at-home tests. Now, I'm only gonna speak on this one company because I know this one company is approved by a lot of American Airlines in order to get back in. Now, these tests are called a BOTS Binax Now COVID-19 Antigen At-Home Test Kits. Now, I got six of these tests for $150, so more or less about $25 a piece. And you get results back in 15 minutes. So, especially if you're abroad, it's super easy and you can do it at the comfort of your own home. Tip number nine is traveling with a group. Now, prior to last year, I mostly did solo trips or trips with my fiance, but last year I really ventured out and traveled with some of my friends. And that really brought me to the realization of traveling with groups really saves a lot of money because in reality, you just split the cost with everything. And tip number 10 is food. Food is one of the biggest reasons why people travel. Now, food can tell you so much about the country and the culture that you're in. But also, eating out can be very, very expensive. So I try to eat out just once a day, whether it be dinner or lunch. And for my other meals, I'll do street food, or especially if I'm in the Caribbean or in Central Latin America, I'll eat a lot of fruit. And this is amazing because it's inexpensive and the fruit is so delicious. So that way when I do eat out, I can spend a little bit more because I didn't really spend too much during the day. And there you guys have it. Those are my 10 tips for you guys to travel more in 2022. If you guys have any more tips, please let me know below in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for checking out my videos. 2022 is the year of travel and hopefully the year we get back to some sense of normalcy. Hopefully I see you guys out there. Once again, this is True here. I'll catch you guys on the next episode to more travels in 2022.